Breaking news, Nigerians. Labour Party threatens to occupy INEC offices nationwide for disobeying tribunal's directive to release diverse machines for inspection. Okay, why are they now refusing to release the beavers if the if the election was not rigged? I think said and talk say the election be free and fair. If you are really sure of what you did, why are they afraid of releasing the machine? You now see why every little thing got a cut because they no say they know they obey court orders. These governments don't reduce our judiciary system to nothing. But last, 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 Nigerians go win this matter. The light will take over the darkness. That is it. Now, so you be. This is just too much. If you know what you did, that you did the, ring, the, the, the right thing, why are you refusing the inspection of the beavers? Hello, guys. Make we quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Labour Party has threatened that it will call on its members to occupy offices of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, nationwide, for allegedly frustrating its petition against the outcome of the 2023 presidential election. The party's presidential campaign council chief spokesman Taku Yunasa disclosed this in its statement. According to Yunasa, INEC refused to allow its lawyers and agents inspect the Bimoda voter authentication system, Beaver's machine, alongside other electoral materials. He added that the electoral body has decided which court orders to obey and which to disagree or disregard. The spokesman wondered why INEC disobeyed the order of the presidential election petition tribunal directing the electoral empire to grant the party and its presidential candidate Peter Obi access to the certified true copies of materials used in the conduct of the poll. The statement read, The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, with greatest impunity, have refused, neglected and failed to obey the order of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal sitting in Abuja, made on the third day of March 2022, directing it to grant the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, H.E. Peter, will be leave to appeal and receive from INEC certified true copies of materials used in the presidential election held on 25th February 2023. It will be recorded that the aforesaid order of the presidential election petition tribunal was duly served on INEC on the 3rd of March 2023, despite the fact that they were present and represented at the tribunal when the order was made. Not minding the service of the said order on INEC and the reminder later dated the 6th day of March 2023 and delivered same date at the INEC headquarters Abuja, the electoral empire has continued to ignore and or disobey the valid order of such magnitude till now. It should be noted that in a democracy like ours, rule of law must triumph not only in our legal system, but also in our body polity as a whole. Parties to a legitation, legitation like in the instant case must accept and obey every order of court in good faith, and no party should be seen to employ self-help to disparage or disrespect an order of court, which, if not checked and contained, could possibly undermine our democracy, rule of law, and constitutionalism. 
the action of INEC under reference also constitutes for all instincts and purposes an act of judiciary in subordination and willful refusal to comply to the order of court. As we speak, INEC has chosen to obey the court order given to it to, re, to reconfigure the beaver's machine, which they which they doing right now, and ignoring the order granted to us to inspect electoral materials. We therefore call on the general public to note the level of lawlessness and bruising disobedience to a lawful order of a court by an important statutory agency such as INEC, and which is a well-calculated attempt to undermine and frustrate the presentation of the petition by the Labour Party and its presidential candidates before the tribunal in good time. We therefore want to state that we will not fail to call our supporters to march to INEC offices nationwide in a non-violent protest which is allowed by law. This is to control the flagrant, the, the flagrant disobedience to court orders by INEC, as said. Hmm. What a country. <laughs> what a country. That is what they, they do during tribunal hearing in Ekiti. They refuse to show the beaver's machine. INEC and judiciary are just ITT. INEC knows what that means. We will deal with them in accordance to the law. With all this happening, these people, the court do send for hanging or sentence to death. And innocent people care. God I beg you, only you will save us, your children. What a country. So Stravuna is not bigger than a big court that asks INEC to pro produce with configuration. Abi, please, all obedience should come out to protest this justice now. Okay, I don't really get that. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the...